Okay, you want scrolling credits at the end of your PowerPoint presentation. The first step is to change the layout of the slides. So on the home tab of your ribbon, go to your layout button and choose blank as your layout. And then if you want to change the background color of your slide, go to the design tab, go to format background, and here you can choose the background color. I'm gonna choose black. Then you want to insert a text box. So you go to the insert tab on your ribbon and there's your text box button and you draw a text box in your slide. Then you want to paste your credit text into that text box. You can change the alignment of the text by selecting it. So if I click into the text box, control A, then I can change the alignment here. You'd normally want it center aligned. You can also change the text color. I've got the text color as white. Then you'll want to center the credits on the slide. So with the text box selected, go to the arrange button, which you'll find on the home tab of your ribbon. Then go to align and align center. Now you want to zoom out of your slide and using the down arrow on your keyboard, just move the text box off the slide. So it appears beneath the slide. Then go to your animations tab, click the add animation button, scroll down through the gallery of animations and choose lines. Go to effect options and choose up. Now where you see these two triangles, just drag the red triangle up very slightly, then you'll get two circles. Now drag the red circle up so that the end position of the text box is above the slide. Now you want to open the animation pane. You can do that with this button here. You can see the animation that we've created here for the text box. Go to the drop down menu button there, go to effect options and decrease the smooth start and smooth end to zero. That just affects the speed of the motion at the beginning and the end. We don't want that to be the case. Click on OK. Next thing you want to do is change the start setting from on click to with previous. And that means the text will automatically scroll when we get to this slide. Next, you want to change the duration. So at the moment it's set as two seconds, which will mean the text will scroll very quickly indeed. So I'm going to take it up to about 20. Now, if you wanted to add some music to the background of the slide, go to the insert tab on your ribbon. And over here you have an audio button. Click on that and then select audio on my PC. And then you need to browse for your music file. Select the file, click on insert. Now on this playback tab on your ribbon, you can go to trim audio. Now with this audio file, the music doesn't actually start to about two seconds in. So I'm gonna change the start time to two seconds just by typing in that value. Now my credits last for 20 seconds. So my end time needs to be 22 seconds. and then I can click on OK. And then I'm gonna fade out the music. So still on this playback tab, I can use this fade out setting. And now I'm ready to zoom back into my slide. So I'm gonna zoom back in, and then I'm gonna move this audio icon outside of the slide so it doesn't appear during our presentation. Your next step is to go over to where you can see the audio in the animation pane. Click on the drop down and select start with previous. And that'll mean that the scrolling text and the audio will automatically start when we get to this slide. So now I can go to the slideshow tab on my ribbon, click on from current slide. 